one and we are live there we go um there we go i'll put my little banner up and uh hey where are you at now these days i'm in twin city oh yeah that's right. got pounded <laughs> two weeks or two a week and a half ago with like six inches of snow and then yeah. today we got like a small inch but it's a little bit icy here and there uh, oh man the, yeah i'm in twin city now you think, are now we're found on any sort of snow was that i yeah, said so you, you you are nowhere to be found on anything that's cold and snow <laughs> you're like no, 80 and sunny. i can't i cannot do the cold because i would not take showers i would not <laughs> i would not get out of bed <laughs> so you know like my mother-in-law is in madison right and uh, mm. and we'll go out there from time to time and then uh dude when I mean, we'll go, we used to go up there like doing like New Year's and stuff, and I just, I just don't want to get out of bed. It's so cold. <laughs> so my ex was much colder. Oh, <laughs> it's not cold yet. Oh yeah. man, oh man, oh man, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, oh, that's a whole other story. Yeah. But that's not even not getting into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's uh. That's not the topic today. So yeah, those of you guys who just joined, thank you guys for joining. Uh, we're gonna do a few shares here. I'll give about a minute or two. Uh, love to hear where you guys are from. Two's already here. Two's saying he's from St. Paul. Two's our top fan of this page. So what's up, Two? I'll give you a shout out right here. See if it comes up. I think it comes up. I don't see it. I need to come here more often so I can get the top fan band bands, man. <laughs> <laughs> and earn some yeah. Yeah, he's points, there. bro. He's there, man. Yeah, and then uh, we got Dua from California right here. So, hey, yeah. I saw your I saw your stuff using like a what is it Streamyard or something like that, right? Yeah, I use Streamyard. Yeah, yeah I like, you like that. Too. Do you like that? Yeah, it's it's it's, this, uh, it's similar to Be Live. I don't have Be Live, but it looks very similar. Is it? Uh, I mean, how much is it, bro? I'm using the free version. All right. <laughs> yeah. How many minutes do they give you? 20 hours a month. That's way more than enough. Wow. Yeah, that's more than enough. I should, do I, that. Really do, I should just yeah, do I, that. Yeah, because I only hours? do Facebook Live um, about total at most three hours. And that's throughout one an hour, you know, this week. And that that's more than enough, bro. More than enough for me to use. Yeah, yeah, I should so, definitely do that. Yeah, because yeah, that's why you stream art. You know, the only thing about that because you know, they have their logo on top. That's why it's free. Unless you pay, then you know, just like you, that's why there's no copyright hold on the top at all. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know if you noticed that. Free is free, though. You know. Hey, uh, uh, what's the word? Beggars can't be uh, choosers, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It still right? works. It still works. It looks pretty nice. The way how uh, nicely done. I mean, I've seen it. I just haven't like. It's funny how they don't put the pricing on there, you know. So I don't know no. how much they charge, but I know that I'm getting charged 150, and that's because I renewed it. A, but a month? No, 150 uh, a year, a year, a per year. Yeah, but as far as uh, you know, when if you're a first year uh, for B Live, it's like 250 or something. So uh, per year. Yeah, I don't use B Live. I don't use. Uh, I only use Stream There's another one I forgot what's called too, but. Uh, is there a free live version of be live uh a what there's, there's is a, there a free version of be live of this, this this app yeah yeah program? i think they give you like a few minutes a few like 45 minutes or something the kind of like zoom so yeah dude think about it if it's 20 hours on, free on streamer and then 45 minutes free on this and then there's another one too i know it's free if you add it up that's like 25 hours like what am i gonna do 25 hours of live stream <laughs> you know, I stream maybe at most five hours, but that's you know not on one time, but just like you know one week here. I mean, you say that's yeah, well, oh, more than enough, man. More than enough. Yeah. So. Was I? Well, I already paid for it, so it just been yeah. new like last month. So I'm doing this for all you guys. <laughs> the content we give you, it's just gonna be priceless. Yeah. yeah, we're paying for all these contacts for you guys. Uh, but love you guys, all 27 of you guys that just joined, love it uh much love we got shredder from fresno we got john and oh, yeah, that john. Oh, christopher horrible. i want to piss those cheeks <laughs> yeah 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 all right so i just share and change my sharing stuff uh give me nothing a minute and we will... in the house 
What's that? There's Jamon in the house. Jamon. That boy's going places, it's man. That boy. It's 9 o'clock already. It's 9 o'clock. I got my uh, house. I love that, bro. On. I love that. You have that. I think that's one of your banners, you know? Yeah. Love it. Miss, yeah. Misty, what's going on? We'll give you some insight. What's going on here? Uh, one more share. One more share, and we'll, we'll get it going, guys. Uh, but do let us know where you guys are from so we can uh, – well, any Minnesota people in the house. Because where you where what city are you in? I'm I'm away from the hood. I can tell you that. Uh, I'm in Egan, so I'm across the street from the hood. You know that. Um, you know. <laughs> I have no clue where there's that though. <laughs> Minneapolis, yeah. The, the oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that, would, okay. that kind of hood. Yeah. Uh, I got just a few more groups to share too, and then we can go. Um. Doing that November th no no shade November thing with me. This this yeah, doesn't grow much, man. This doesn't grow much. <laughs> this doesn't grow with, much at all. With the guys, yeah, you got for the guys. You I know? got I do have a, a permanent no shade November. <laughs> check, check this out. Oh damn. <laughs> is that yeah. that was man? What is, what is it? What is it actually? It's my last name with the mustache. Oh, yeah. oh, is it backwards? M O U M O backwards, right? The U is backwards. M O U A. Oh, yeah. but you got the mustache in between. Yeah, in between, yeah. So it's a oh, permanent man. mustache. No shade, I remember. Yeah. That's improv. This is improv. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. I was thinking of getting an eyebrow on my left side. What? Yeah, an eyebrow, an actual <laughs> eyebrow. So you can do this yeah. or something? Yeah, there's you know there, yes, there's women out there that have struggled with them. Like, girl, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you got them. How do you I got, got them? They'd be like, dude, this dude, dude, loco. I got you. <laughs> What's going on? You know, faces you know for sure they will remember you. You know, forever with that. You know, I'm just gonna go, God, just be afraid of them. It's like, I got you, girl. You know, like the eyebrow <laughs> tattoo on my. Right, right. Some more air props on my arm. You got the yeah. mustache on this side already. Right. You're like, what do you like? You like this or do you like that? You Whatever you I mean, this yeah. could be no shave November if I put this, you know, tie down there. If you don't, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 now, he see, now he sees it. <laughs> I know what you mean, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not, now you see it. <laughs> just imagine that all right we're taking this a little too crazy for some of these folks here um, oh man thank you guys for joining we got chia uh what's up chia yeah i think you did an interview with chia like uh, yeah 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 um yeah. was it it's one great content one me uh she said didn't know you moved to Minnesota. that's missed yeah yeah, so Dr. Yeah. Misty CPA, she has her own business now. CPA, like, oh, right. hey, hit her up, right. hit her up. That's right. Uh, I, I, we that would be nice to hit her up with some tax, you know, stuff. So, you know, be on the lookout. Um, we got Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Let's see what else we got. We get a few people. Fresno, and that's it. Christina. It's cringy. Oh, it says Chai, your interview with Christine was cringy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Well, oh man. She's a good girl. She's a good sport. Love her. Uh we got Oklahoma in the house. All right, guys. All right. So uh thanks you guys to for joining. We got we got a true hustler here today. Uh I've been hounding. But we we I actually contacted you like what a few months back and mm -hmm. we just got busy and then you know I'm like you know let's get this going so uh appreciate you coming so uh everybody welcome to Mo Hustler show 36 and we got a guy a guy that's all about we're gonna talk about Mo Man what he does uh like clothing line and he's also got a podcast about Mo Man. So that's why I titled the show today all about all about moment with CISO, right? So uh, let's start, bro. Um, we met a couple times already, right? And uh, that's right. Appreciate you know 
we've been talking for I me mean, we didn't never spent enough time together but you know uh but it's been it's been good to see how your journey has been you know this kind of stuff that you that you've been doing so uh i figured you know love to hear more about it uh because we you know this time we'll probably this is probably gonna be the longest time we ever spent time because we probably only spent like 10 or 20 minutes talking to each other Aww. you know <laughs> But I do want to know about a few things, all right? Sure. So, uh, but let's talk about like one of your businesses, which which I'm interested in. Like, like was it X O X X I X O <laughs> menswear? You know, I I always get that confused. X O X O, but you get that too. <laughs> it's not X X X. If you look that up, don't look that up. Don't look that up. <laughs> it's X I X O. It's it, for those who don't know. It's actually my name. What? Yeah. It's part of the question you're gonna you're gonna ask, you're gonna ask me that same that question anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you like what? I'm gonna follow up that question. The brand name that I started is unnamed under me. It's Shiso. It's menwear. But my yeah. real name is spelled S H E E S O. But if you pronounce X I X O, it's still Shiso. Shiso. Yeah, get it? It's the same thing, just pronounced oh, easier. Because when you look for a brand name, yeah, you know, it's gotta be short, catchy, simple, yeah. and easy, right? Because yeah, yeah. if you have my my name for crying out loud, my 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 ten um my elementary teacher can't even pronounce my name. How in the yeah. world is gonna pronounce my brand name if I'm doing a brand name? That's the bigger issue here. You see what yeah. I mean? So now getting a brand name and sticking and knowing that it's your name, XIXO is my name. She's I mean That's it the is story behind it. It is catchy, right? X I X O. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like, whoa, what is that? It's almost kinda like a like a like those those liquor bottles, you know? So, but it's like, it, it is catchy though. So yeah, I didn't realize it, bro. X I X O. I thought maybe it was named after your, you know, mom no. or something or. <laughs> my, my, I was named after my baby mom. I don't know. <laughs> I kid, yeah, no. But the the X O in the Shiso, there's a meaning. X O is, do you know what that means? X O like, no, I don't X -O know what that means. Hugs and kisses. Oh, okay. All right. There's a whole uh, story behind that too. Okay. Uh, carry on. Carry on. We'll get to back to it. So yeah. So XO with the the XI is the the I guess the C. First? Yep. CISO. Yep. C. So. So how do you say Monet? Is your Monet name CISO? CISO. CISO. Oh, okay. 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 CISO. Instrument. Gotcha. 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 Ah. Damn. All right, bro. There we go. I learned something. That's pretty cool how you came up that. How did you I mean we, you were just walking around and you're like, yeah, XIXO or? No, no, no. I, uh, I, I There's one thing about you did not know. I used to own a very, very successful car shop Yeah. Uh, for, for 15 years too. And anyhow, this lady cut me a check. And she put XIXO and I'm looking at this $500 check like this check is useless because it's not yeah. made under me, right? Like this yeah. is useless. You know, but growing up, I've always had the X's, the, the S's, the I, the E. It's all mixed. If you mix it around, it's pretty much pronounced the same, right? Yeah, yeah. So growing up, I always had, had people throw a name wrong. And then she wrote that XIXO. I'm like, and I'm like, you know, I pulled it through that. And just like that, I'm like, you know what? You like that's that. Be, yeah, like that's good. That's it. That's how you got like, the name. It. Okay, perfect. That's, it. that's the brand. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's awesome, man. All right, cool, cool. So, yeah, let's talk about, you know, how did you get into it? You know, like. You know, how'd you get into that? You know, like your fashion business. The the fashion business was more of a self pleasure uh, than a business. Uh, it was more of something what I wanted just for myself, not knowing that others will want it. But yeah. a kind of self pleasure, and it all started with the car shop. Like the car shop was something that was self pleasure. I wanted for myself until one day I was like, "Hey, man, that looks really good. That exhaust looks good. Who did that?" I'm like, oh, I did it. Can you make that for me? Sure. Again, another guilty pleasure of just making something for yourself. Yeah. Not knowing other people want it. And then the first thing I ever made for my men's brand before it was men's brand was a bow tie. Because again, I want to keep the culture alive, but fashion forward, right? Fashion forward. And how could I do that? And the first thing I, that my mom actually made was a bow tie. It was just fun out that I wanted her to make. So she made me a, a bow tie. And wearing that bow tie, it just led to a whole lead things next to another. And then by the time you know, we have guys like Tujer Chong, 
and two years show I actually bought a bow tie off my neck. I had to charge him double just because it's the sweat that costs extra for him. Yeah. You know? Okay. I had to charge him double. He bought the bow tie and my sweat for double the price, man. What's so the sweat? I, I don't even the, know what it's sweat. The, the 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 sweat, the dirt off my bow tie, man. Oh, <laughs> oh well, you know. Your hustle juice. Yeah, the stain. <laughs> the stain off the, the bow tie that was sold with you. It caught, I charged him extra too. You know, and he bought it up, but then again, that's when I knew I was on to something. And it, okay. it, it, it didn't happen once. It actually happened one time in Fresno with a, as a Mexican bartender now. And yeah. he saw, like, that's a really nice purple color. I really like the light color. Like, man, where'd you get that? I'm like, I make these. And yeah. the guy was like, man, and like, can I see? I gave, I took it off. Literally, at the glass, just gave it here. He's like, man, I, I'm looking for this exact color, man. Yeah. You want to sell it? I'm like, yeah, there's more where that came from. And I just sold it to the bartender in front of I was like, there you go, dude. Just take it. Wow. So you started with so you started with bow ties then, right? Yeah. And that's how you guys started. Was there any like patterns? Because I know you do, now you're doing like moan patterns. Like there, there's always been moan inspired and fashion forward patterns, textile patterns. Again, that's the key thing in the moan and design is the uniqueness, the originality is the key point in the design. And again, the key point is originality and style and class. You know, but that the so was that really where it started? Where it okay, started. so so it was the moment inspired, you know, design on the bow tie. Correct, and the moment culture itself. Because when you look at a child at the actual whole fashion or moment fashion industry, yeah, you ever notice it's dominant by what gender? Women. There's so uh, many moment women like inspired dresses and shit. And okay, yeah. And, and, it, yeah, there, but but what about, about us, Chai? What about uh, me? What about guys? Yeah, I looked at the industry as a whole. I'm like, well, yeah. can I can I find this boat moan bow tie? Can I find this moan belt that I sold you? Can I can I so forth and so on? I can't yeah. find it. I can't go to Amazon find it. I couldn't go to this. Remember, do note this goes back eight years though. That is very so true. I, yeah, because if you look, you know, but now there is of course brand like Jam, other brand like Jam Moan and them start making yeah. stuff. But I was well behind the time. I looked at. I thoroughly looked at. You know, at the fashion, I'm like, it's been always been dominant as a woman brand. There's no men. And that's why, like, you know what? Two you can play this game. And I was summoned upon it. You know, it's one of those things like, I didn't choose a thug life. The thug life chose me. <laughs> you know, it's like, I didn't choose the passion. The passion chose me, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Things. And not knowing it's going to become a business. What well, do you know? It's like, I don't know, seven, six years now. I don't recall. Wow. So, and I started that when I had the car shop too. Oh damn! Okay, so you're this is I mean the side hustle, you know. On top of another side hustle. So that, so your car business, and then was that a side hustle too, or is it something else? No, I mean, I know shop, have, at the time, the car shop was my main gig. That's what I mean. Yeah, because I know you got so much businesses, like you know that you that you do. But I, I only we only talking about like two right now. So, mm -hmm. um. Okay, yeah. So let's stick with those. I mean, I, I didn't want to veer it off to like your other businesses too, but yeah. So, uh, so you started with so the bowl thing. I mean, I, I mean, I saw that, but that that didn't catch me because it, what caught me was the belt. You know, I mean, I, is that it's it's the belt is again my, it's one of my top three best sellers. Too. Okay, actually, it might I think you into answer your question. It's actually my you can say my very number one. I say bestseller the belt that. the belt yeah, the is belt. Best yeah 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 it's because yeah. it kind of represent you know because the symbol oh i wish i had it right here it's fully but, yeah fully stainless and it's you know fully leather yeah, yeah it's you have a belt you know i have a belt many other guys many belts uh this belt is just it, it's a perfect belt like it's an everyday wear it really yeah. small uh whipping your kid that's sold separately uh i do kid about that i condone any violence <laughs> what the hell? i'm kidding i'm kidding okay. you can show them what's up with the belt <laughs> and you can go to the party with the belt <laughs> yeah. but the belt has been one of a yeah great 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 seller so and yeah that came kind of as a business grew though uh okay so i mean okay kim i mean tell us i mean i'm, I'm just we're just kind of digging in i mean tell us how what came up how did you come up with the idea as for, I mean, I get the I get the bow tie, but the belt was what caught my eye. Because, I mean, bow ties, I see anywhere. I mean, I might not be a bow tie. I'm more of a tie guy. 
but the belt is like yeah I, I can i can do that anywhere you know and represent more people with my with that belt how did you come up with that idea man that was a great idea there everywhere you go there's always a mom necklace i'm not a necklace guy yeah you know i'm talking about the yeah. single chain with a salt oh I'm not a yeah guy. it yeah. looks really that chain is so big like i'm a rap artist when i'm walking around if it was all gold i look like a rap artist just walking just chain yeah chain low and all that like i've always liked that but i didn't like wearing necklace like you know what if i put that and put it down there you know as a yeah Voila. Dude, that's genius well that's genius <laughs> I gotta give you, I gotta give you uh, kudos for that. That is genius, cause yeah, I'm like, that is true. I don't like wearing that, cause it's too flashy, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it's, it, it draws attention. Like, why is this guy wearing, you know, something like, like that? You know, so like, I want to go. I want to take it to work. You know, and people would be like staring at you, but the belt itself was like, you know, it's like, oh, it's just a design, but it, it yeah. represents, you know. Yeah. So that's smart. That's smart um so that's your first that's your your number one thing that yeah i can say if i look at it yes i can say it's, it's the number one thing yeah can we talk about the numbers on that the numbers on that it is fully like, stainless it is uh it's definitely not made in the u.s it's made <laughs> offshore and <laughs> we buy a huge bulk uh to get you know a very great discount on it yeah uh, when you deal with with uh with uh, manufacturers they want a big bulk if you're buying little they don't you're more like wasting their time uh, so they want yeah. a minimal order uh technical term uh moq to buy them they want. but w as far as the design of course we design that in-house as far as 3d cat drawings you know adobe shop drawing i have my own, con my own uh, uh, employee or contractors that makes all that and like hey make this design and i talk to the manufacturer on that and then for as far as pricing uh it's definitely well, what does it take sure. i mean let's just go let's go through that so if somebody wants to say hey i got this great idea i mean this was just a belt right how long did it take to develop you know have some sort of like assembly line or i guess process you know the the um actual manufacturer took about a month all said and done and shipped to my front door yeah a month and a half that's quick so you come yeah. up with the idea yeah and then idea. You, which is the belt i mean you can just get a the leather belt for anywhere but it's the design of mm -hmm. you know that has custom made yeah the belt, yeah the, 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 the belt so the leather belt you get anywhere right it's universal right. it cuts on it's anywhere but the, the actual buckle you mean the buckle that is yeah. what we i designed that part and it's been a really good seller and i sell a lot of belts actually so how do you I mean, are you doing the design yourself? Yeah. Or? No, I would say my design is more like just chicken scratch, you know, on a paper and like, hey, graphic yeah. designer, I need you to, you know, 3D CAD draw all this too. So they'll design it like, okay, you know, I like that. You know what? Tweak this a little bit and they tweak it like, I like that. So I contract, I pay them that. I go to the manufacturer and get, you know, get that. And they, they, and they, they do it. So the CAD guy, how much does that cost the CAD guy? He was just contract and you could find them through like guru fibers upwork these guys are great contractors to work with and i'm just like all right have this done was it like you're talking like what thousand dollars or something not even close not even close man not even close to that way like, cheaper than that 200 bucks i just gotta say when you that's i gotta say when you use offshore uh <laughs> you know offshores yeah uh, you know it's way cheaper you know okay so a lot of what i do i like to deal with a lot of offshore uh, so we're talking like okay uh, how about like is it under 500 dollars? oh by four oh, okay so so Wait, so, by by, so you give them the, you give them the measurements and then you go hey throw this in cad whatever it is and cad is like what a, like a software that designs the mm -hmm. stuff right mm -hmm. and then he he does it and then you you get a print out of it and then you go what do you do with it do you take that and then you go to your manufacturer and say hey can you yep. produce this okay yep and, yeah, what and, do you then, and then when you get your manufacturer, like, hey, what, do you, what kind of material do you want? Uh, stainless. Uh, okay, cool. Do you, uh, what size? Size is all their specs on there. Okay, great. And then uh, as far as belt, what do you want? Do you want it sold here? Do you want it sold there? Do you want a full leather? Do you want, you know, I, want I want full leather. You know, this, this, this one, this, this, and this, and this, and this. One. And when so, I got it, I was just like, and when I, man, it's just seeing that something like that come to life. Because I never, and then you know what feels even better when, when you're, 
when you're at a Hmong New York or anywhere in your US, so you see somewhere, and I've seen my stuff in the wild, like, I see that's my belt, and I'll go and to him, like, and I'll, I'll play dumb, like, hey, that's that's a nice belt, man. Where'd you get that? <laughs> and sometimes they're like, I don't know, my daughter's got it. I love it. Yeah, that's yeah. great, man. I, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get one too, you know. <laughs> oh, man, why you have to play? That's that's why you have to play like that. <laughs> So yeah, so so I mean, okay, so the process. I, I just want to know the process. So so when you take it to manufacturer, how do you contact those guys? You just Google it and say, hey, I'm looking for manufacturers that want to develop. I go on, you know, I go online and I I search, search, search because there's a lot of companies out there, and I search and then I look at their history and look at their, you know, you know, so forth and so on, and. Yeah, just like that, it's it, you will find one eventually, sooner or later, you'll find one. And now it's just a matter of just talking and negotiating back and forth. Yeah. Uh, and then going through with it. So, I mean, I mean, it's kind of general now, but it's like, I mean, your first batch, how much, I mean, you order in bulk, right? So, I order in bulk, yeah. What was your so first batch? I, in my first batch, oh, I had a minimal of, uh, was it 500? Uh huh. I think it was like 500. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, but I sold a lot of those belts already, and I'm getting close to somewhat yeah done with. Uh, with yeah. That. Uh, so I'm thinking about another batch, but yeah, definitely a minimal order of it, and just to just to see, you know, I mean, my, my first prototype was just half glued together. But what is, what is I mean, what is I, I wish minimal. I still had the original. I don't have anymore. But, it's still okay, but what's together. considered a minimal order? Like it just just to throw out some numbers. It varies on the company. Some company might like, I know minimal of a thousand of this. Some minimal or I need I need at least five hundred of this. It varies a company to company. But what was yours though? Five hundred. Oh, five hundred. That's yeah. it. Yeah, oh, dude, that's nothing. That's little. Yeah, that's very little. Yeah, but that's just like a like a quick test to see you know to see if it's gonna work. So yeah, but that's not I for those who are listening and getting into making and manufacturing and yeah, uh, what I like to do and that's, I'm gonna give you a big big nugget here. I do kind of like how I did my watch. My watch, I took an, a, a different uh, uh, strategy of how to do this watch. Pretty much what it is, I, I did it pretty much like um, Kickstarter. That's yeah. what I did. Pretty much what I did was like, you know, I, I made this design of drawing and I made it a 3D CAD. I pretty yeah. much sold people the CAD drawing. Remember, I'm not even having a physical product yet. That's what I would do. If you're listening, this is how I, you would do it. Make the CAD drawing of the graphic design and sell the graphic design. That's how you did it. On that watch that I made, the Hmong Time watch that I made, that's right here. This watch Show was a watch. great watch. This watch was a great watch. You can see the, the flute, the Hmong flute in the watch. See yeah. It? Put it closer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you just see it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Right there. So I will give you a big tip on this for those who watch. I'll give you a big tip on this. All right. Give us a tip. I made the CAD design or I hired my CAD guy to, to do the CAD design. I sold you guys the first first uh, sell at a lower discount price, right? And people are ordering it already, pre-ordering already, pre-ordering already. That yeah. pre-order, I'm saying, that pre-order bought my first batch of order, meaning I never used real money. So, if Bob, <laughs> you're watching this, I recommend you doing that too. So, if you think about, it, I never used my own money to buy the watch. I used it just the graphic design to sell and pre-order, pre-order for it. And that pre-order hit the minimal required. Mm -hmm. You see how it's pretty much what it's, it's what Kickstarter is. It's simple. Kickstarter is pretty much just how it works. You're just buying a, a demo version of it, and then, then when they reach their when they re, when they reach a certain amount of product order, guess what? Yeah. They finally pay the manufacturer ten thousand money, and then they get it all done, and they get it shipped out. That's pretty much uh what it is. So do I people get mad? The same fundamental. Same fundamental. But what do you what do you tell the people like? Um, so what do you tell the people like if it takes you like, I don't know, two months to uh, to get to a certain like minimum that you are looking for? That's, you just got to be uh, honest. You just yeah. got to be honest. I mean, this belt here, you know, right. I did I did the opposite way, but it's been a great great seller. You know, for this belt, you know, it's been a great great seller. Yeah. But it, it it's. I was and then you know what? You know what the funny thing is? You know what was the point? The actual watch, you know, the man the the time I, I expected for a due date when it's gonna arrive, guess what? It was running on Hmong time. <laughs> you get it? 
<laughs> the Hmong time was running on Hmong time. That's the funny part. You didn't yeah, get the yeah, joke. Yeah. You know, that's that's the that's but the kick. It was that. running on Hmong time. It was late, right? It was a little right. bit late. Was, I was yeah. expecting a whole month and a half early, and it didn't arrive till a month late. And I was just being, hey guys, look, I'm not here to take your money. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a pre-order. You'll get it. I'm sorry, but the Hmong time was running on Hmong time. And yeah. finally, we finally got it a month and a half later. Just being, again, just being very transparent about it, guys. Just being very transparent. And yeah. finally, I got it. And this was my watch. I was just like <laughs> priceless. Like, I can't believe it, it, I made a watch. You know what I'm saying? I made a watch. Yeah, I had to admit, I was watching like how you were promoting it. And it was pretty cool because you kept saying, you know, uh, home time, right? You don't get a watch, and it's you know, Hmong time, whatever. You're you're well, I forgot what your language was, but I, I, it was pretty cool. when I advertise, I like, I like, I like to be very funny, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The irony of being funny, I advertise, but being funny and hilarious because Hmong yeah. time is running on Hmong time. Because when you, when you get a watch from me, the watch is always an hour or two ahead of time, you know why? Because people are always running on Hmong time, <laughs> but I fixed the problem by making this watch. <laughs> and I solved that. Well, you're going to pay me 200 bucks for the watch. That's the solver. <laughs> you know, again, so back about design, it's the originality and uniqueness. You know, yeah. and it's still mall. You can see the the, 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 the thing in it, right? You can see yeah. the monk flute in it. Yeah, and it's yeah. just how, man, I look like I'm one of those mall sellers right now. I'm trying to sell them. <laughs> 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 get a tape, bro. Get a tape. Start writing and a marker. I know. Oh, you. Oh, you. Hana, na na. You man. Oh, the the the. Ah, 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 the whipping is so separate. <laughs> but uh, to answer Ku's question, no, I did not use Kickstarter to do my 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 campaign. Yeah, I, I used the fundamental and I did it on my own website. I get how yeah. it works. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I didn't use their website to do this, but I get how Kickstarter works. But I did the same fundamental and applied it to my own website. So when you say, "Hey, you know what? You want the pre-order? You gotta go to my website." I Kickstarter my website, and then get. It. But that's one way how, how I would do production if you're trying a new product out there, right? Just the drawing, the digital drawing, digital drawing of it to see if it works. If they're willing to pay for that, trust me. You're, you're, and and the, the, the technical term is what I'm talking about is um, uh, product. Um, I can't think of the word. Right it's all right, but um, but uh, that's I mean that's a minimal, I guess, investment, right? Because you only spent like a thousand dollars to get a particular product. Just to to test, right? So, for example, that belt you designed it, and then you you know you pay for the you know the the cat guy, whoever whoever drew it, and then you you submit it, and for a minimum for them to develop and send it to you, all that is probably like within a thousand dollars, just so you to to test market a particular product, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the belt, of course, I I didn't do the way I did a Kickstarter, right? Exactly. I made the design, I I made it manufactured, and then I put it out there, and then I and I sell it. And luckily, yeah. it sells. It, it's a good sell. Yeah. The watch yeah, like again it. is a whole. No, I didn't. I want to test the market. The word is. Yeah. I see that the market fit is the word, right? Is a market yeah. fit because this is a new product that's never been out. There. No one's ever made a bone time watch. So yeah. I want to test if there were people. And there was pre order just pouring in. Pre order. I hit my. I hit my minimum requirement. I just hit. I just got my whole batch. I said, hey man, I need this done. And it gave me an ETA. And of course, they were off. So again, you're it's saying. Something you're saying it's that watch I learned. Is, I learned too, yeah. But you're saying that watch is 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, retail's 200 bucks. And people were, were already No, but when I when I had when I had my Kickstarter, it was at it was at 130. Yeah. And a, a month later it was at 150 and a month later 170, but right now it's 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 set at 200. Wow. And and you know, even for 100 bucks people were still like interested in it. So Yeah, 200. I just had it ordered like about uh, about a couple days ago. I went to some guy in Milwaukee. A watch. Wow. Um, and you know, let's talk about so your belt was your your number one seller. I mean, I guess what is it after expense and everything? What are you making out of that belt? Oh, um, my markers were definitely like 40, 50, 60 percent markup, man. It's high. Wow. Yeah, it's high. And that belt was like what, like 60 bucks or something? I forgot what it was when I bought it. Uh, almost, yeah, almost almost 60 bucks, man. The, the whipping is so separate, just so you know. <laughs> I'm 
I condone violence by all means. <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 I it's get my, it. That's my mark, though. It's mine. So, yeah. Wow. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. Do you guys want to hear how much the watch, how much he's making for watch? <laughs> the, mar the, wa the watch is marked out about 100. Hey, yes, guys. If you guys want to know how much you're making, let's get some feedback. Let's get some engagement. If you guys want to hear it, give me a yes on there. The, I'm not going to say, but it's definitely more than three digit mark markup on the watch. Wow, dude. Holy cow. It's fully stainless. I, I try, this is my, I try tapping it and try breaking it. Put it in water and everything, too. This is uh -huh. my personal watch. You it's marked it water. Up. Is it water resistant? It's water resistant. Wow. <laughs> All right, nobody wants to know. I don't see a yes, so I, I guess we can move on. <laughs> so, so yeah. So those of you guys just joined, love, love to know where you guys are from. But uh, you got CISO from uh, Minnesota. Uh, he's got this, uh, I guess, menswear. Uh, what do you call it? Fashion or, I mean, I, I don't know these terms. But, um, it is a Hmong inspired men's you know, fashion brand. Yeah. There you go. We are, men, fashion we are, brand. It's fashion forward. We want to keep it cultural, but you know, forward, fashion forward. Yeah. To a new trend of uh, because like guys, men like you and me, I mean, we're in suits all day. Well, not this year, but you get what I'm saying. But you know, suit. We have most inspired ties and bow ties and watches and belts and cufflinks and um, socks and uh, dress shirts now. Uh, just regular apparel, we have like shirts too, shirts and socks. So, gotcha. I mean, I, I dig it. <clears throat> I dig it because, um, like, like you said, I, I don't like the necklace thing, and you know, because I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm an active guy. I don't. It, it gets caught in, you know, at shirts and stuff like that, and you know. So, mm -hmm. but the belt stays right there. It, it shows that hey, you know, I'm representing also, you know. So, um. So love it. So I mean, as far as I mean, uh, I mean, we, we can talk this to death, but uh, um, where are you going with this? As far as you know, this fashion thing. Are you are you planning on? I well, I, I plan to be among uh, GQ magazine. Wow. If you see the because like Lou Guna, it's nothing that you see out there. Because when you look at the market, fashion market, when you look at a men's tie, I can look at your closet. Is there plaid, polka dots, stripes? Paisley, and maybe that's about it, right? But when you mm -hmm. look at Lumonu, look, 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 there's no design like that. And don't mistake that to be an Aztec or tribal design, right? Lumonu, there's nothing like that. But when you see a Mon GQ magazine, when you see that pattern, like that's a Mon brand. <laughs> <laughs> you say it too. Is, is it is because you're, is it Kung, Kung right? Kung, 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 Kung. Yeah. I think we this, this bow tie is actually the first ever made. The oh, official okay. one that started the whole business. It is my personal one. It's it's yeah, not yeah. taped like this, you know, but the but it's uh it's much more detailed. And these are you know think, my personal stuff. So is it all and the pattern? So does all the pattern looks like that, or is it is it no, it's different it's colors? Different too. It's slightly different. All the monk patterns are do monk. Monk, monk patterns and monk, you know, they're so bold. They're so bold and it's so just so the textile is just so bold. Um, yeah. Some love it, some hate it, you know. And that's where I come into play. Like, you know what? We can make this in black and white, you know, rather than bright green, bright red, bright, you know, it's just so bright colors. Some love it and some just like, it's too bright for me, bro. I can never, it's just imagine around my neck. It's just like such a, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it's because it's monk colors, right? Monk colors are bright. Right? Really like, bold and bright, yeah. Yeah, like the green and the red and stuff like that. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we got an inter interpretation here. Look, it's, it's kind of like a sn the snail, snail, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Man, I stink at this kind of stuff. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for the education there, Bob. <laughs> so cool. All right, so you're going to be like the next GQ thing, right? So what is it? Like just new products, maybe Mainstream. more products down the more anything, product down the road. In you got global. anything that you got any ideas? Like anything coming down? Like this whole year, I'm at a standstill and wait. The last launch, successful launch, was the watch. Actually, the whole time, I'm yeah. gonna lay low this whole month. Uh, I'm gonna, let's say, I slow down to speed up. You know, yeah. I'm working on 
behind the scenes with uh, websites and designs and stuff like that too. Um, but we're looking forward for next year. I'm not going to spoil anything yet. Just got to stay tuned for Cool. All right. Cool, man. All right. So, I mean, uh, that's gonna, this is going to be the first segment. So, I mean, how do people get a take a look at this? Do you get a website? Absolutely. Absolutely. For those who want to check out my uh, website, my brand, go to www.xixomenswear.com. Xixomenswear.com. That's where you find the whole the whole shebang. Cool. Cool. All right. So, uh, I mean, all right, guys, check it out. Uh, I did buy something for him because I, I like the belt. Uh, you guys like the watch? That's the thing. He's got the watch, too. That's pretty cool. Cool idea what he's doing. Um, the next thing we talk about is his podcast, right? He's wearing his shirt right there. Moment talk. Moment. You know, how'd you come up with that idea, bro? There's being a you know, being a single guy, I will go on dates where I meet lady friends who just talk about moment. And not all men are, are degenerated, but the abusive one, the <laughs> the nothing going on from themselves, the deadbeat fathers and so forth. I'm just like man, is there really bad in this community? Because I've never had a look at that. And I'm like, not all men are, are like that, but there's a, there's those who makes us look bad, you know? Mm-hmm. And I come across this, this this woman, now my co-host, Mai, and she's like, and she came out of a very, very abusive uh, re- divorce too, relationship, uh. marriage. And having to have that, like, you know what? I left my car shop at 15 years. I was itching to start something something yeah and it just happened to be a podcast and just like that like you know what we should make a movement we should do something about this and the podcast is to inspire to aspire uh it's empowering it's educational uh it's and it can be just straight bs talking about anything we can talk, we, for more men right yeah for more men yeah but she's could, but it's She's in it though. What's what's she's her my view? co-host? Her name is Mai. Yeah. So so what's Mai's role in that? Is she's the just women's... a co-host that's you know a psychic and we have chats just like this. So she's the women's side that can maybe give the Hmong guy t- some pointers or something, or is he just a no, co-host? No, no, no. And okay. no, no, no. It doesn't doesn't involve in that. And she's yeah. a scout too, because for example, we're looking for and for those who are in this we're looking for more men on the podcast too uh yeah to, if you have a great story compelling story to tell uh you're a specialist at something we are looking for those kind of guests and it could be very empowering because we talked about again on the topic of mo- mo- uh, men talk it's been like domestic violence mental health sh- status quo it could be empowering it could be educational it could be again just bsing um it could be aspiring it could be inspiring um it's however it depends on the guest depends on the topic you know our weekly podcast is different from our round table talk our round table talk is an open talk it's just a bunch of dudes sometimes they're drinking you know i don't really have much uh restriction on that and the, the topic is open we could talk about only fans and shaking booties and to like very presidential politics stuff and it could be very it's, you know, intellectual talk too. So, but that's an open topic. It's t- different from the podcast. The podcast yeah. is, is a different topic. Uh, and then I just opened up a whole new series, uh, pretty much what kind of what you're doing here with Mo Hustlers. And yeah. it's, and it, because guys been coming to me asking, like, Sal, you started your business. Where can I learn more? How can I learn? How can I follow these men? Like, you know what? I do have the yeah. power of a podcast. I could find men who started their own business. And now I hold a bi weekly, I have a, a show called How I Built It. This yeah, true Hmong entrepreneurs who built their own business That's even awesome. during this time. Like, so like for example, uh, yesterday I was biweekly. I had a guy who opened a bar during these times. Because the reason is I had men who came to me and like, hey Sal, I just lost my job because of the pandemic, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know what? There's guys like them who who started a bar and, and a restaurant during this time. There's no excuse for you not to do it. And yeah, I'm, I'm just the middleman, but he's here to inspire and and give his two two cents of why and so forth and so on. So that was a good show. I, I built it. How about it? Yeah, That's what it was. loved it. 
I loved it. I, I think it was you said it was yesterday, right? <clears throat> Man, yeah, it's been yeah. long. I can't remember since yesterday. But yeah, that was awesome. Like, he was very inspiring. Um, and he was young. It's like he's young. 30 or something. Like, Not oh, even 30. Wow. He's close. He's <laughs> First, he was young. I just I mean just by looking at him, I'm like, damn, yeah, you know, yeah. at 30 years old. I, I don't remember me thinking like he was, you know, but uh true hustler there, right there. So uh Bao says, yes, we need more Hmong content, Hmong man movement covering all topics related to Hmong is awesome. Bao, what kind of topics would you like to hear? We get the man right here. So, yeah, give us a comment there. Maybe we'll let him know, like, what kind of topics you would yeah. like to hear. Yeah, you know? write it down, Bao. I'll, I'll jot it down. Two goes, yeah. hey, Chai should be on the podcast. <laughs> we'll do this sooner or later. You. Don't worry. There's a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, so interesting. I like to listen to yours. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so tell me. I mean, I mean, since you know, we're we're kind of like a like a business kind of sh show here. Like, you know, you know the business. I know the business of podcasting. You know, I mean, this is. I don't know. If we call it podcast, right? What do you call it? What do you call your show? You call it a podcast. I kind of call it a show, like a Facebook show. What do you call yours? I. In the beginning, I was just strictly podcast and no video. But as a year went by, I changed the strategy to exactly what we're doing, kind of a, a vlog podcast style, just yeah. like this. And, I, yeah, just changed a few things around and tweaking it around. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, what is, I mean yours is kind of like <clears> – <throat> yours is more mature than mine, right? You've done this more. You have more, more, more interviews already. You know, you have, <laughs> you have, uh, you make it sound like I've been doing it for years, man. You the I man, no bro. Clue, I have no clue what I was doing and I still don't. I figured it out like, go. <laughs> but, but you go to your website, you got, you know, stuff on Apple, I think, and Stitcher. Yep. And uh, I mean, yeah. how hard is it to set this up? I mean, I, I just want to show, I just want the viewers to know because what we go through is, I mean, it's not just like I'm sitting here interviewing, right? Because I'm looking, I'm looking at questions. I'm talking to you. I'm engaging with you. I'm taking down notes, you know. And there's all and like my my computer's making this noise right now. I don't know if you guys even hear it, you know. But yeah, it, it this is hard. I mean, do you find it hard to interview guests like me? I don't think of it at all as work, and it's hard. I just really enjoy it, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, of doing it, and it's the content. And the value that I, that you give is the key point. And if we have someone listening to it, heck, if I have no one listening to myself, yeah, I gain something out of it. <clears throat> but I don't mind all the work to get to get all these none of that equipment too. For those who want to start into podcasting, it's it's growing. The podcast whole industry is growing, and we're welcome to bring in more podcasters. And I never yeah. knew that I was going to be a podcaster, just like I'd be as a fashion designer. <laughs> so I was gonna be, never knew going to be a car mechanic shop owner, and so forth and so on. So, I mean, what does it take, right? So, I mean, obviously, you got an expensive headpiece right there, headset right there, right? And uh, we were talking earlier, like, where's your mic, right? And your mic, you show your mic. Look at this mic, yeah. you know? So I'm like, this guy's got money. <laughs> What's your setup look like? You know, if everything was bought off Facebook Market. No kidding, on a budget, <laughs> on a budget. No, so, I would. Yeah. And and I was and we were earlier. I don't know if you guys caught the earlier part. It was like, how much are you spending to avatar? You know, like to do the streams. Like, like I'm like for me, I just renew my subscription here, which is like 150, right? And you know, there's there's costs involved. Like, how, I mean, how much have have you thrown into building your podcast or your show i'm using a uh host for my podcast called lip sync there's other one too i would recommend those who are starting i would recommend anchor fm because it's easy it's it's actually the easiest actually for those who are starting up it can, you can record on there you can edit on there and you can and once you hit submit it goes boom to like apple podcast it goes to google play it goes to stitches Spotify. it's the easiest of easiest there was some disadvantage what I didn't like about it. Cause yeah. Like Anchor FM, it's like it's like a YouTube. Like, hey, where, where where can we find your show? Go on YouTube. Well, my brand is not called YouTube. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to brand myself as Moment Talk. 
So that's why I prefer to go with lip sync and host it on my own website because I'm branding myself. That's the key thing here, right? It's like, hey, where'd you get that mic? Oh, I got it at Amazon. Well, technically, Amazon doesn't sell mic. That must be a Blue Yeti or something, right? That's the brand is Yeti, not Amazon. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean here? So yeah, yeah. I'm saying for starters, I still recommend it. It's by far the easiest. It's free, actually. I'm using Lipsy. It's like 15 bucks a month. And then uh, I'm using a um, WordPress. Wait, Lip Sync, let me see. Lips, is, is it, what is it? It's subscription based? It's monthly based, yeah, monthly based. And what does it do again? It, hosts, it holds and holds all my uh, recording for my, uh, my podcast. Okay. Yep. And then you're doing, and you got a website too, right? Yep. On top of that. And then as far as equipment, I mean, we don't have to go all out, right? This Yeti is running like, uh, I don't know, like less, under 100. But, you know, you don't really have to go all out to start a podcast, right? You just mm -hmm. decide you like the equipment that you got there, right? Um, I, I, out of podcasting, there's one thing I do recommend is a really good mic. That's something I would invest because, again, man, podcast is, is all about voice, audio. That's it. So I yeah. recommend spending money on that at the beginning. Oh, that's the only thing. Good tip. Good tip. Uh, but that's awesome. So I yeah, I haven't tried Anchor, Anchor FM, right? Anchor FM, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool because you know to submit all your stuff through easily one one button, boom. Wow. Okay. So easiest, quick tip. Yeah, awesome quick tip there. But uh, are you making any money with this, or is it just for you know? And my thing of moment talk is about content value empower and inspire yeah am i honestly making money we're looking for a sponsor but this is what i'm gonna give you right now about how i'm making money the people i talk to the people that who wants to talk to me the people the men i have got on my show and many more men than me chai is priceless that's that's how that's much true. money you make yeah it's not <laughs> it's about who you network with you know that's that's how much money i make man it's the people i get on my on my show yeah. and talk with guys who's like you who son and me interesting awesome people like you who wants to talk to me yeah you can't put a price tag on that man yeah how much money i make but are you making money <laughs> Priceless. Priceless. I, i'm saying that no right <laughs> No, we don't make money we doing never, this. Like I said, like money cannot buy that yeah, experience. Yeah. All these yeah. men that has come and have talked to, there's so much knowledge that that I've never even been to their dip before. Whether I'm talking to a guy who's an ex-gang member, I've never had experience. I'm not into that that that, that life. Or yeah. in the the billionaire, I've never I'm going to be there, but I've never had experience. But talking to them, and getting their knowledge. Yep. I've got that money already, and it's priceless to me. Whether exactly. If no one listens to my podcast, I'm just going to listen to it. It's, Those nuggets I get are just completely priceless. Yeah, it's it's for you. It's the tips for you, and hopefully people get out of it. And, you know, if down the road you get big, you know, that's that's just an additional bonus. But, yeah, I mean, we're not getting paid for this. Um, even the mall market watching our stuff it doesn't – it's not enough views to make any money out of this. So just want to let you guys know, like, were, we, were you, how shy or how's CISO getting, you know, benefiting out of this? Uh, we benefit just by the networking from all these guests that we meet. So uh, uh, that's it, man. Is that true? It's, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. Your network, uh, your network. But to be all honest, too, you know, I do want to plan on getting to sponsors because this whole last year, I wasn't want to plan to. I didn't say. Because my key thing is, is is content and value, and and mo movement. That's the key point of the podcast. The the money is just a byproduct of that, and sponsorship and it's just all byproduct of that. The mm -hmm. key thing is you know, all of that first. So it's it's never day one when I started like I need sponsors first. No, it's more like I'm not gonna bother. It's gonna be out of my own time. In my own pockets to buy the equipment and doing this on all and finding great great men to come and talk with us on this podcast hmm. so, okay me, you bring a good point so if you were to ask for sponsorship what would you charge 
I did kind of think about that. I was thinking around like 50 bucks a show, give or take, if not less. Gotcha. Starting yeah, my first show, 50 bucks, give or take. Gotcha. And per, how would you? Episode. Huh? That's per episode. Per episode. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll do that too. Anybody want to sponsor <laughs> on my show? <laughs> See how it goes? <laughs> <laughs> sorry man i just kind of took it <laughs> but we'll see how it goes you know you know I, I do hear you i mean when you when you did your show you do ask for some sort of sponsorship like during part of your show so you're already planning for it right i yeah correct i'm already planned for it as of last year i was a sponsor of my own show yeah i was leveraging the other business to the other business yeah you know gotcha. just sponsoring my own men's brand on my own podcast yeah, yeah. Did it work? Yeah. I do have statistics that that does work. What's that? That people the, that heard my podcast, they go to my website and bought something off the men's brand. Yeah, because yeah, you, you incorporate that inside your show, which I thought was a great idea. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think it was it toward the middle or something like that, that you that you mentioned something about, you know, your, um, your fashion site. Yeah, it's usually in the beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... That's cool, man. So if it's working out, I, I'm taking that tip, man. Sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. So wait. All right. So you, you guys have any questions? I mean, if you got any questions, go and comment below. And uh, I'm I'm just stealing tips from this guy. <laughs> you got anything you want to ask me, bro? <laughs> let's 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 switch seat and let me sit in. Uh, now. We'll do a show on your on your on your you know podcast and then you can you can you can howl me for stuff <laughs> yeah 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 it's like it's like 18 here and it's like 81 where you're at so. all right <laughs> it's all right okay yeah but, but you know let me get through my questions here like what's the what's the hardest thing you that you see coming out of like doing this these podcasts oh i'm not having enough guests yeah yeah that's do the you, hardest thing right now i can't find enough guests. i have, have guys who backed out or yeah uh, it's I have just like this girl. I'm trying. It's the same problem. I have girls asking on date. They'll back out. They don't show up. They're it's what is so hot. The irony. I I know what you're talking about. Is like they get scared or something. You know, the struggle's real. And I get it. You know, because you know they probably don't do Facebook lives, right? And, and then now they're up against this whole audience, right? And you know. We're probably gonna upload this on YouTube and everything, and it's gonna be like the whole live is gonna be exposed. So they're they're thinking about that, and they're like, "Oh, you know, maybe maybe that's a bad idea." But it's I, I think it's I mean to me, I think that's actually a good idea. You know, to be known is better than not be known. So, and there's a reason why you're contacting them because, you know, they're special in certain ways. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because again, we have guests that's been like. Uh, actors like Dua Moore, we have like celebrities like Punk from Paradise, we have like Chinu from Sudden Rush, and we just have extremely ordinary guys, but has extraordinary stories though. Like ex game yeah. member, the OG of an OG, got shot three times, twice in the head, one in the leg. Um, this guy who had erectile dysfunction, again, just just ordinary, guy, you know, just very ordinary with extraordinary stories. So it, it varies mm -hmm. again. Gotcha, gotcha. So uh, I was going to ask this, like, Bao goes, hey, what kind of data, uh, I see here, what kind of data have you gathered on your audience following? It was kind of similar to, like, my question is, so since you interview, like, is it mostly, I mean, I'm sure it's all men, right? Oh, yeah, on strictly men. Mo um, all the, mom men. Yep, the podcast like, is strictly men. The round table top is kind of half and half, majority of yeah. It's mainly men, but the podcast, all men only. Like, so you know one one of my questions that i wrote down i wanted to ask you is like what's the most common thing about mom men that you learn just by you know interviewing them back to see this related back to the same question because like if no one even listened and i'm listening to the nuggets i've learned from this guy who's an ex-game member about that life yeah. of him getting shot three times and what really changed him to to, to that point where he, I'm out of this life. And you know what the thing did change it was when he came home and he opened the door and a little wobbly little uh, 
two year old runs up and hugs him. I said, Daddy, that took that much to change me. That's so I I I, I just being emotional, being in his foot there, just being that emotional, that was what's changing. Or being a celebrity, you know, like like do more to work and sleep at church, sleep at play at uh, movie theaters and to make what he is now. Those experiences that I know, I'm not going to be active, but to hear that, that's so inspiring to hear. It inspires me from what he has done. It inspires me more. Mm-hmm. So all these stories that they're giving me has given me much nuggets, and I take small pieces to inspire me myself to move on my next level of where I'm heading. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's no, so you're saying there's no, I mean, I, I get it. You're taking, you're, you're taking what they've gone through and use that to inspire, to inspire you. But is there anything common between all these people, all these Hmong men that you've seen through, throughout all these interviews that, <clears throat> that, you know, that you found? Every answer is different because there's one answer. What's one question I always ask is what, does it mean to be a Hmong man? Yeah. And yeah. And when I and, I and when I answer my own question, there's no comment at all. It's good. What is your question? It. Yeah, I, I want to know. Yeah, what is what does it mean to be a Hmong man, Ciso? <laughs> what does it mean to be a Hmong man? To be free, man. Wow. To be free. It's, it's that simple. To be free. Yeah. To be free. I think I think everybody wants to be free. I think <clears throat> in general, right? But uh, isn't that what Hmong means, anyways? Yeah, the word Hmong means to be free. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, um, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's kind of hard, right? I, I, I'm just curious, like, because I think you do you ask you ask that question to them all the time, but you know, um, everybody has their own different little stories there so it's it's kind of hard to find out if there's any commonality but you know like <clears throat> like i'll go through like my you know we have at the end of our segment i always ask one question too and i'll ask you that later you know but sure. um there is a commonality <laughs> i'm sure this one ain't gonna be common <laughs> okay okay yeah. we'll wait for all it. right so let me see if there's any questions you know any any appropriate questions by the way you guys got any questions comment below and now uh, I'll, I'll i'll ask uh ciso here uh if you guys any questions here uh but uh if you don't let me let us know where you guys are from love to hear uh we got peter here from florida uh can't copy try answer this thing. oh man they're gonna call me out huh they go try answer the question can't copy ciso <laughs> Why don't I do this? Let me, why don't you know? Why don't I go your show and I'll answer that? How about that? There you go. There you go. <laughs> I just got called out. <laughs> but um, but um, okay. So um, we'll see if the questions come in. And uh, my little kid just just walked in. You want to come over here? But um, <clears throat> how do people get a hold of you? Let's let's start with that. You know, how do you get a hold of me? You can find me on my OnlyFans. You know, I just started that. No, I kid, I kid, I kid. <laughs> I don't have OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> add me on Facebook. You know, she so more S H E S O M O U A. You guys are yeah. checking my website too. You know, but that's more on my own, my own personal business. But add me on Facebook. Add me on LinkedIn also. S H E S O M O U A. Contact me. Gotcha. Your, your LinkedIn or Facebook. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, follow this guy. Uh, they follow him for a while. It's very insp- inspirational. Uh, let me give this kid to my wife here. But uh, but let's let's go to the end of the segment of you know what at the end of the show here. We I always ask all my guests like, what would you do if somebody gave you a billion dollars? Um, Seriously? Just, you know, yeah. What if? Right. What would I do with it? Two things. Just curious. Two things. Two things. Cookers and cocaine. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right. You heard he here. Answered. He's taking hookers and cocaine. <laughs> Crazy man. Is that it? Seriously? You said two things. Oh, That's two things. All right. It's going in the books. 
you know, it's going to books. So, all right. So, uh, that's it, man. You got me surprised, bro. So that's it. That's, that's the end of the show. So, uh, anything else to add? No, not at all, man. Thanks for having me on. Uh, appreciate it. I <clears throat> be on here and thank you everyone for coming on. I know there's been a lot of questions that's been coming in and we didn't get a chance to answer them all. You can message me personally. I'm more than welcome to get on a Zoom chat chat with you and express more about business and how, how I've been doing it and so forth and so on on that. Yeah, it's been a long time. You know, like I said, <clears throat> you know, we, we've been talking for a while and, you know, I always want to know what you do, stuff like that and what what makes you tick and as far as well, your business, you know, what 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 is popular in your product line. And here we go. You know, we just found out and – Appreciate you telling all this. Uh, hopefully this inspired other people who wants to do some sort of fashion. Um, but thank you for coming on. And uh, those of you guys that are watching, thanks for coming on, supporting us. We'd love to help you guys. If you guys, anybody, you want me to interview, let me know. And uh, I'll be on the show. And until then, have a good night. And keep hustling, guys. All right? Good night.